talk with Crowder on the sidelines and how did you guys come back? I mean, the talk was just to wake up. Um, it's the second week in a row, we've gotten down big like that. Uh, but you just have to continue to push, continue to fight. And that's what we did. We got a uh, strong brotherhood on this team, and we came together. Yeah, they've been running a uh, they've been running a drive route, a, a deep in route. Uh, they hit us on it a couple times, trying to attack the middle of the field. And uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to see it, and, and I, I made a good time. Is this the point where you guys, when the fourth quarter runs around, you're just like, all right, fourth quarter defense? We got this, we do this yeah, this I mean that's kind of been our thing all year. Um, but honestly our model is just a finish. And we've been talking about it all year all year long. And we're gonna continue to talk about it because we know that when the game gets tough, it's in the fourth court. That's when you gotta be at your best. Can you think it's those those back to back sacks when you just been around here some professors? Um, <laughs> What that mean to you guys to see him make those two plays? Really, at a time when the game was angry. Well, Kenny's a playmaker for us. That's why we call him the night train. You know, he, uh, we, we we go as he goes. We jump on his back, and he, and he carries us. So for him to make those plays for us were huge. I think it knocked him out of field goal range, and uh, he's a playmaker and he continues to play big for us.